Let's go find some deals. Why oh, was that so dramatic? actually thinking about doing something a little bit different you know i'm always trying to change stuff because that's just how i am but <laughs> i'm trying to uh think of some different uh, things that we can sell you know reach outside the box i know one thing i do want to get into is trying out some yard sales i'm not very good with um kind of looking at vintage brands and stuff like that so i really want to work on that in the future but one of the things that i did want to do because i see an opportunity um, that a lot of people aren't utilizing. Um, so since we have like tons of band stores in our area, a lot of the band stores don't like dealing with books. So they have tons of these books. And a lot of times they discount these books just to get them sold. Um, so the band store I just left, they have all their books for $1. And they have like three big old huge um, bins of them, just full of books. Most of the books are brand new. So I'm thinking of doing an FBA series where I go through and I scan all the books and all the books that sell for $20 plus, I'm gonna send them all to Amazon FBA. Y'all think that's a good idea? I don't know. I think it's a good idea because, so worst case scenario, let's just say I bought a hundred books, which is a lot. A hundred books, is, there's tons of books. It's a hundred bucks. And you know, I found a book today that's literally selling for $155, one book. And I didn't sit there and scan. I scanned through probably for maybe five minutes, uh, and I found three books total that I'm going that I bought. So I spent three dollars, and literally one of those book sales for 155 dollars. So imagine what could be inside those bins. So I think I want to do that because I feel like that's that's kind of an opportunity that a lot of people aren't utilizing when they go to the bins or they're not looking for books. Uh, I never see anybody in there looking for them. So I'm going to try that out. Anyway, with that being said, I am heading over to Finding Treasures. I keep missing up the name on that one, but I'm going to Finding Treasures, uh, which is $6 day today. Um, today is their first day, their restock day, so the bins should be nice and full and plump. So hopefully I can find some good stuff and uh, make some profits. Wow, that was crazy. I didn't really find like any like super big items, but I found a lot of smaller items uh, that will sell for over $25. So every item in this store today was $6. Oh, but I got a ton of stuff. I think I got 25 items and they're all pretty good to me, pretty good items. So uh, I'm a, I gotta go and paint real quick and then I'm gonna go to the store and I'll show you everything I got. All right, so before I start pricing all this stuff and putting stickers on them, I want y'all to kind of see some of the stuff I got. It is tons and tons and tons of stuff here. Holy action figure. <laughs> I've got so many action figures and toys. I normally don't go for toys, but action figures do sell. Um, you know, these are all in pristine condition. They're like new, which is great. Uh, very unseen for the bins. Most of the time, you know, when I find them in the bins, the action figures and stuff, the boxes is all mangled or they cut up or broke. But these are really good. Even this like Funko Pop, this uh, Oswald uh, Funko Pop, the box is not like perfect, but it is definitely not crushed up or smashed or knocked off. And this is a pretty, uh, pretty neat little figure. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna price everything and then we'll go over how much uh, I think we can profit from all of these items. All right, so I'm gonna go over everything that I got. Starting from the left, I got these nice uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. That's the newest one that came out. Uh, the I Am Groot um, action figures. Those go for about $30 a piece. Uh, and then we've got two of these little blasters, uh, rocket blasters uh, from the same Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Those go for about $25 uh, a piece. 
And then I got this cooling stand with controller charging. So this is for uh, PlayStation 5. You can uh, charge two controllers and have your headphones on the side as well. That goes for about $30. Uh, then I got this um, Funko Pop, this Oswald Funko Pop. It goes for about $18. I wish it was the Chase because the Chase goes for a lot more uh, than that. And then this kind of surprised me was this Indiana Jones Adventure Series. Just the head alone goes for <laughs> $20. Um, but this is a pretty nice little figure. I think it's a Target exclusive, so it goes for about $40. And then I got this DeWalt um, grinder crimp bench wheel, carbon, I don't know. It's some kind of wheel. I saw DeWalt and I knew it was some kind of money. So it goes for about $26. Uh, and then I got two of these. Um, these are like figures that you can actually put together. Actually, I already got one of those yesterday at the bins. Um, so that one goes for $45, the top one, and the bottom one goes for $25. And then I got six of these Jeff Hardy Ultimate Edition um, action figures and they go for about $18 a piece but they have a 100% sell through rate so I'm hoping um they sell pretty quickly because there wasn't that many listed there was there was more sold than there was listed so hopefully I can get those listed today and they'll start flying off these WWE WWF WW I don't know what it is WW Ultimate I guess uh these action figures actually sell pretty well for us we've gotten these before at the uh, Walmart clearance and they we we don't have any more of them. We sold we sold out of them. So hopefully those sell pretty quick. And then I also got this X Men um, Marvel Legends Cyclops, which is a pretty cool figure. I actually want to keep it, but I'm not going to. It's twenty five dollars for that. Uh, and then we've got this tray pivot. It's a charging little tray. You can um, it's a fast charger and also charges like your AirPods. Uh, and that goes for twenty five dollars. And then I got this Philips Norelco twenty. Uh, $25 for that. It's like a nose trimmer. And then I got this Halo uh, action figure. It goes for about $18. This Philips Sonicare 4100. It goes for about $30. Uh, I got two of the uh, Superman. God, I can't say that. <laughs> two of the Superman. I've already got one of these. I got one of these in my personal collection. And I also got one of these at the bins yesterday. So I'm just going to add those uh, to the listing. So those go for about $25 uh, a piece. And then I always get the Philips Hue bulbs. They always sell. Um, those go for about $30 a piece. Uh, I got a blackhead remover, which goes for about 20 bucks. And then I got two of these ghost makers. Um, if you saw my video on my channel uh, yesterday, or maybe today, I don't know. <laughs> it, uh, I got one of these figures, but I actually got the Chase version of this figure. And it goes for uh, a little bit more than this one. But these go for about $20 a piece. Uh, then I got this um hd tv antenna uh i think it's phillips rca rca brand uh, and it goes for about 45 dollars uh and then this uh is another one of the star star wars books i paid a dollar for this they sell for 25 dollars it's brand new really nice so I grab those what's this oh then i got another shaver <laughs> a wall shaver uh and it goes for about 30 dollars i got this tiktok stand ring light whatever you want to call it <laughs> it goes for about 30 dollars so these are the books I was talking about. So this book right here goes for $70, which is kind of crazy. And this book right here goes for $152. And at first I was thinking, because sometimes you go and look at books and they're like overpriced for like absolutely no reason. $152 is the low price. Like the high price is about $190 uh, something dollars for this book. So it's a hardback book. It is brand new. So I, either I'm going to list this on M uh, eBay or I may send this into Amazon because there's not that many uh, at FBA. So I may send this in or I may just list it on uh, Amazon kind of as a backup. Okay, so I know I went through that like pretty quick. I was trying to get through it because it is a lot. Um, but I think I got a total of maybe 32 items. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was like 32, 33 items that I got. I spent probably, uh, let's see, probably $170, uh, $170 on all this stuff. But my profit is going to be, or my how much I can list all this stuff for is $1,097. Um, and then after you take out how much I pay for everything, that leaves you with roughly about $900 worth of profit. And then obviously you have to take the fees and shipping off of that. So pretty decent day at the bins. Uh, I've been doing really good at the bins. The bin store that I've been going to is really like, it's just say it is prime right now. Hence the name prime treasures, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really great. Um, the only thing I fear is that these bin stores, you know, they have a, a life cycle. You know, they they come on, they figure out how they're going to operate. 
they reach their peak and then you know it just sometimes it's hard to get the loads that people want to get um the good loads the clean this stuff is really clean like these um these action figures and stuff like that the boxes are pristine brand new so uh that doesn't happen very often at the bin store so i was i'm very impressed with the quality of the stuff i can get from this bin store and they're really nice so it, it, it works out either way <laughs> i'm van i'm i'm somebody why is april van white right now <laughs> we're working on a whatnot show for yeah. tomorrow so hopefully this video comes out today which is saturday the whatnot show is tomorrow Allegedly. sunday at, at 6, 6 p.m so April, show, april will show you y'all some of the stuff that we're gonna have in the whatnot show so we got this Ooh. this nice little studio creator um that'll be in the show and then we got um these lovely little massage errs little sport massages we got three of those yeah got this little hue light which is actually i think we got this was starting out at a pretty good deal because i think tj said this was about 70 dollars yep yep so yeah, some of the stuff y'all probably didn't see y'all on this channel y'all didn't see because i put on my channel the um stuff i got from the bean store got this little home oh yeah and then of course we got our other little you know we got a couple of little smart watches um got these impal selfie sticks this is real random a faucet <laughs> yeah we got this faucet it's a nice faucet though it is like let me show it to you it's like a waterfall this is what it looked like so it's a waterfall faucet yeah so anybody looking for something you might you can catch some little random stuff on here yeah. uh what else we got on this little show we got some it's like got some headphones. headphones we got yeah. some action figures we got some swim uh what are them things called? You got this webcam that I fought with back oh in God. the day. That box is like... <laughs> like you see, do it's see the, the box is better than what it was. Y'all see that box? <laughs> I was fussing. You should have seen what I was trying to fool with it. Okay, we got um, a little smart... Oh, yeah, some little smart uh, um, outlets. Like I, I feel like I need them. <laughs> there will be some more stuff on there tomorrow. Um, just, like I've got some uh, cooling fans for like a computer... Uh, we're not gonna put these action figures on there now. We these action this. figures are on our eBay oh, store if y'all want to see yeah. those. But look, I'm just going through everything. We got this cool little oh yeah, this tablet pretty. holder. Yeah, you put that on your couch or on your bed, and you can put mm. your tablet on there and yeah. watch your little shows Ooh, and stuff. Down. It's kind of cool. Uh, we got a bunch of those. I think we got like six of them. Oh, oh, we, look, the neck massager. Move yeah, move the knife. April, go stab us. Let me just. Figure <laughs> that. I can't figure it out. Uh, okay. Yeah, show me the neck massager. Surprised he didn't try to keep it. What? Oh. First of all, he'll fight. Right, you have it on the right side. It's got the heat and it's got a back massager. Yeah. I feel like I need it. Like right <laughs> now, at this moment. I think we're starting. The lowest we got something listed is what? Probably $3. $3. Okay. Yeah. So the two, lowest start is $3, three. $2 or yeah. $3. And then some of the stuff is going to be, of course, five, six, seven dollars starts. Yeah. Um, on whatnot. So make sure you go check us out. And we're going to be there. Be there be square oh also we were just talking about this grand grand plan we're going to also do, do a backpack show uh or like a back to school yeah, kind of backpack school. possibly backpacks and toys we hadn't done toys on there no. in a while so we're gonna try that again don't look at this because i'm supposed to be taking it home i never did uh <laughs> and then we got a bunch of these uh drawers panties yeah, brand new with the tags. With tags. So we're probably going to do a whatnot show with these. We're going to try to lot them up some kind of way. I'm going to work on that here in just a minute. April's about to go pick up my niece. Um, some, uh, oh, then we got some bikinis. Look, what, we actually got a... Uh, you see how this toast and stuff on here? Oh, that's, that's just trash anyway. Look, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that is... Yeah, that's the bikinis. This got some stuff in it. It matches your shirt. I mean, your dress. It does. So look. Except that's this. not Tommy. Those ain't Tommy Hilfiger. No. <laughs> there you go. That's... That's that, the top. He's got the top and, and the, bottom. the bottom. Right here. And then, uh, I think there's a couple of other, there's some Calvin Klein pants in there. Yeah. And then I got some of those uh, cheeky these little bikinis. They kind of like, I kind of said they were like alligator skin or snake skin. I mean, looking. I'm over here fighting with it. <laughs> this is what it looked like, allegedly. Yeah, I think and all that's those like are literally medium. upside down. It is upside down. <laughs> Try that again. There it is. 
Yeah, so we'll have those. Um, I don't know when we're going to do that show, but we're going to have that show. I'm going to start prepping it this week, but I will have it where it can be bookmarked or whatnot. So a little bit of our listing stuff has kind of paid off because yesterday we had a pretty decent day. We've got eight orders um, that's going to be going out for $244. And the day is not over with yet. It's 5 um, 24, so maybe we'll get some uh, additional orders. So I just listed tons. I listed about a thousand dollars worth of stuff just now. So hopefully, some of that stuff will sell. So with what me and April talked about with the whatnot sales, we are going to get those scheduled out. So if you want to be a part of those, you want to come hang out. You don't have to buy anything. Just come and hang out with us. Um, we are having that show tomorrow. I'm trying to get this video out tonight if I can, <laughs> if I can hurry and get home and get it done. Uh, but also tonight I'm gonna be working on uh some of the future whatnot shows. So we're gonna do a uh, another clothing set but we're also going to have like swimsuits and underwear and stuff like that uh and then we're going to have like a kind of back to school um backpack and toy um whatnot show too so they've kind of uh made the shipping a little bit better so the last time we did a um a toy whatnot show the shipping was kind of expensive for some of the stuff so we just hadn't really done a toy show we got tons of toys so we're going to do a show like that next week. I think that show is going to be on Thursday and then the clothing show is going to be on Tuesday. So if you're on whatnot, make sure you go bookmark those shows. I have those shows uh, on there tonight as well. Uh, so if you come to the show tomorrow, you should be able to bookmark those shows as well. So let's get over to the house and I am going to try to get these draws all categorized and listed on whatnot. Mm -hmm. 